Welcome back to another Halloween video with the scariest prints for Halloween 2025. Now, maybe these prints themselves may not be super scary, but when you find out who created all of these, I can guarantee you that you will be both scared and also hopefully a little bit shocked because I was the one creating all of these Halloween themed creations. And of course, all these prints are available on my Maker World Pro profile which I hope you already follow with of course commercial use if you feel like it. Only thing I ask for in return is that you could follow me on Maker World and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And before we get started with today's video, uh, before you do leave some comments down in the description, uh, this is not a Halloween decoration. I just accidentally cut my thumb on a completely different non 3D related incident earlier today. So here we have print number one which is this skeleton keyboard. Now, I might have misjudged the entire size and the depth of this ball, uh, but this entire process of this video started with me looking for a skeleton that had a tongue sticking out. I know that this may not really be uh, scientifically accurate, but I was looking on Maker World between some kind of mix between a super realistic skeleton that I showed in my previous Halloween video and like the, the venom tongue that has like a tongue sticking out of, of the skull. And as the saying goes, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. I don't know about you and uh, honestly I don't really care about your opinion this time because I think this is the coolest skeleton ever created. Uh, I did also want to have some kind of function for it so I could use it for like long term, uh, although with the whole like death skull approach I'm not entirely sure if this will uh, stay past Christmas here in the apartment. I have to check with my wife on that. But regardless I did want to have somewhat of a functional print at least. So uh, in Bamboo Studio actually after I was done with the overall design I just took one of these like negative objects a sphere in this case and just removed this entire top part so it does have at least uh, somewhat of, of a function being uh, our new key bowl here in the apartment. My next print got inspired by the previous uh, pumpkin prints I recorded in my previous video, uh, but this is my own little uh, Jack O' Lantern experience. I have no idea why it's called Jack O' Lantern, but uh, yeah, it is a lantern because I have also uh, scraped out the bottom in, in true Halloween fashion. Uh, and I guess we just gonna call him Jack. I don't care what you think. I think this looks absolutely amazing. And of course, uh, it's gonna be a lantern, which would look a little bit more impressive if we turn off the light I think uh, but it has a hollow bottom or it doesn't have a button uh, so you can just put these small lantern. I got uh, these like very small and very convenient uh, candles or, or uh lights uh, from Amazon and you of course have an affiliate link from my Amazon affiliate store uh, down in the description. But believe it or not, this is not even the most impressive print in today's video because here we have the masterpiece of masterpieces. Don't be too harsh on my design here, but uh, come on, come on. I started 3D printing like six months ago and here we have a goblin in a pumpkin. I don't know, is that the name we, we go with? Um, what I think like really sells this overall design uh, is like the, the Sunlook Galaxy filament. In this case, it's, the, it's like the purple and also the green uh, filaments here. Now, I printed this in 0.8 millimeter, so we don't really have the fine details. It, this could be like much, much better, I think. Uh, and I could also maybe spend a little bit more time on fine tuning the actual supports. Uh, but the, by the time this design reached Bamboo Studio, I was just so excited and I went with the, the generated supports. And of course, in, in true Halloween pumpkin style, uh, it also has a hollow bottom, which uh, Maybe the size could have been a little bit more optimized for the, the lights, but uh, it does fit uh, three or, or more lights, which, uh, I mean, come on, look at that. Look at this. Unbelievable. And even like the fact that you can do this with a 3D printer. Uh, and again, like as a token of my appreciation for you watching all my videos and, and hopefully liking this video and subscribing to the channel, if you want to go ahead and, and sell this or do whatever you want with this profile, um, it is yours. Do, do whatever you want, uh, but please also help me maybe boost uh, this little print as well on, on Maker World. But we're not done yet. Continuing on this like lantern theme or just like a holder to have a, a light, uh, I wanted to create something kind of in the theme of a, a, what's it called? a goblet. 
a, like a, a Halloween drinking cup uh, that I could have a, a light inside that would have a little bit of a candle feeling. And in addition to the, the skull Halloween theme with some spider webs and some death skulls, uh, I also wanted to have some uh, Tentu Nai Cha, which is the Boba Bubble Milk Tea cup as well, since again, I am located here in Taiwan with Bubble Milk Tea being the national beverage. So this is a, a Taiwan themed Halloween goblet. Uh, yeah, maybe I need to work on the name there. But uh, again, how cool is this? But we are of course not done yet because here I have two of my smaller but just as impressive Halloween themed little figurines as well. Flying Ghost in again this same uh, sparkling galaxy uh, PLA as well as a uh, Goldron. I believe is the name with some uh, green little Halloween uh, soup bubbling out from this uh, red fire underneath here, which uh, again, I think these are super, super cool. And I cannot believe that these are 100% designed by myself. Okay, I'm super sorry, I, I cannot lie anymore. Uh, although I wanted to trick you a little bit since uh, tricking is part of the overall Halloween culture, apparently, uh, I did actually not design these two models myself. Instead, I used something called Meshi AI, which is the world's most popular AI 3D model generator. And they're also sponsoring this video. But before we start talking about Meshi AI in a little bit more detail, I just wanted to tell you that I used Meshi AI to design every single one of these designs you see here on the table. So if you did actually believe that I have somehow magically learned 3D design, maybe I did trick you a little bit after all. Uh, but yeah, again, 100% of all these prints you see here every single detail was straight out from Meshi AI. I didn't change a single thing. The only thing that I did in Bamboo Studio afterwards was to use these like modifiers to like scale out or to remove uh, this part of the skull and also to hollow out some parts on, I believe this model, but just to show you all the absolute amazing features and also a few tips and tricks on how you can actually maximize your experience with Meshi AI, I think we need to jump over to my computer a bit just to teach you a little bit more of this absolutely amazing AI software. So here we have Meshi AI and if you've never heard about Meshi AI before then basically it's an AI for 3D modeling and maybe more relevant for us for 3D printing. And for those of you who have heard about Meshi AI before uh, just forget everything you have heard or seen before because now they have their brand new Meshi 6 preview and full disclosure I started using Meshi uh, the first month of doing 3D printing back in March earlier this year and uh, the results that I got then was uh, less than ideal, but I ran the exact same prompt today as I'm recording this video and the differences is like night and day. So this is the overall improvement just since March earlier this year. And for full transparency, here we do have that exact pumpkin design that <clears throat> I created and we can see the exact prompt that I used here as well. I want a mixture between a Halloween pumpkin and a scary clown. Halloween decoration for a table, so make it a flat bottom, which I actually then hollowed out myself later or I, I just decreased like the, the print down in Bamboo Studio. So it's like we're not talking about rocket science here, folks. And in addition to all of this, Meshi AI now also supports Nano Banana. And if you have no idea what that is, then that is basically uh, the world's most popular image AI generation tool right now. So here we have, instead of then having text to 3D design, we can do a text to image, which could be, uh, could be what? We can have a scary banana for Halloween. Uh, and then we use the AI model, Nano Banana. So just after a few seconds, we do have some <laughs> very scary bananas for Halloween. Uh, and you can see with only one prompt, we do have four previews here. Then we can take whatever we like and we can then click here to get an image to 3D. And then we have a 3D design of this very scary banana for Halloween. 
So hopefully you don't get too upset that I tricked you earlier saying that these were all my own designs, which I guess depending on the definition, maybe they are. Uh, but of course we also have some treats as well with not only a direct Bamboo Lab integration in Meshi AI. So you can just with one click of a button, send this straight to Bamboo Studio. If you do click my link down in the description, you can actually get 50% off Meshi AI right now as well. And I hope that that treat will compensate for that little trick I told you about earlier. And some other designs that I will not put up on my own maker world are these designs right here, simply because these are not mine and also not created by Meshi AI. Uh, for example, this Halloween hat was actually featured in my previous Halloween video, uh, but I was just so excited that time, so I completely forgot to actually talk about this. Uh, uh, this is the 2025 version 2 version of this Halloween hat that has a little bit of a plate, a table for uh, Halloween snacks. I assume. And then we do have some other very much last minute prints, which are these uh, door decorations. Uh, this is a ghost, if that was not clear enough, uh, which is perfect if you have a white filament, which I assume everyone should have. Uh, and then we also have another version, which is a spider web, which is of course utilizing a black filament. Uh, and I mean, if you don't have white or just black, and if you don't have these kind of like door decorations on every single door comes Halloween. Uh, are you even a 3D printer at that point? I just feel like this is super super convenient uh, roughly like one hour one and a half of, of printing these and we also have this blood dripping decoration as well. I have actually uh, not really Halloween related, but I do have uh, the same kind of style uh, as this dripping thing on my printer, uh, in this case in orange, for just some, some printer decoration. Uh, and that is where I, where I got this idea from, from uh, Halloween decoration to just being gloopy, any color that you want decoration, which works uh, great uh, after Halloween as well. Uh, so there we have all the designs I wanted to talk about today. And again, Although I was not the one actually designing this, I do see myself as the creator. And again, thanks to, to Meshi AI and their licensing, I am the, the owner of this creation and I have the right to give you the commercial rights for selling this as well, and uh, not these other prints. You have everything very clearly lined up on Maker World with all these licenses as well. Uh, and with that, I do uh, wish you a happy Halloween, I guess is the, the correct term. Uh, and I also wanted to just finish this video with saying, I do know that I owe you another uh, top 100 tips and tricks of things that I have learned 3D printing because we have now hit 20,000 subscribers. I have not forgot about this, I am working on this, but uh, I have recently had some very, very amazing problems with my 3D printing business uh, where uh, I just don't really have the time to just print things for fun and to making as many tutorials right now because I do have a massive order that is uh, on its way out as I'm recording this. Uh, so yeah, as soon as those orders have shipped, I am gonna continue just printing out as much as possible. And again, you do have affiliate links to, for example, the Sunlu uh, Galaxy sparkling filaments that I have mainly used for my own creations, uh, as well as all other kinds of, of Amazon affiliate links to my Amazon storefront. So you have a little bit more information on everything that I use behind the scenes in order to make these creations possible. Uh, again, Meshi AI, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and thank you so much for watching as well. My name is Luke. Because it starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.